back to back in Bass. For the first time in 20 years, the sitting member appears likely to be returned to the fickle northern Tasmanian seat. I think I've demonstrated I've got a pretty loud voice and don't mind uh, getting my elbows out. The Liberals are also celebrating in Braddon in the North West. I can't thank you lot enough. Yeah. Gavin Pearce has retained the seat with a slightly improved margin. I've always been focused on the electorate. Uh, you know, I've never got my head uh, into Canberra, uh, the shiny lights and the shiny dangles that's in, in uh, Canberra. Despite the country electing a Labor Prime Minister, in Tasmania the primary vote for the party was more subdued at less than 30 per cent. Julie Collins has retained Franklin with a slight swing towards her. But in Lyons, sitting Labor member Brian Mitchell is in a tight contest against Liberal Susie Bower, which will come down to postal vote counting. I think that the time for reading the entrails of the results will come later when all the data's in and we can see those booth results and what happened and where and, and of course there'll be a lot of time for reflection. Independent Andrew Wilkie celebrated his Clark win in isolation. Am I clear to actually say a few words? Yes. Yeah. He will join the growing number of independents in Parliament. The government can't ignore the fact that so many people voted for crossbenchers Two Labor and two Liberal senators have been elected for Tasmania. We did step up with a plan, but uh, the people of Australia uh, didn't back that in nationally. But here in Tasmania, I'm so grateful for the support that's been shown to us. But relegated to third spot on the ticket... Good on you, thanks a lot. Liberal Senator Erica Betts is facing an almost impossible task to retain the seat he's held for nearly three decades. So it'll uh, depend on what happens uh, with distribution of preferences. Uh, either way, it's a great privilege to be a Liberal candidate and a great privilege to be a Liberal senator. His below-the-line vote would have to be absolutely enormous for him to retain, so I, I would assume that, that, that he is going to lose. Which means the Jackie Lambie Network's Tammy Tyrrell has her eyes on the prize. It would be like Christmas Day. It would be like that very, you know, 16th birthday where you get the present and you go like, yeah, mum's come through. People have already seen me just as the power of one can keep the government to account. So, you know, God help us, what can we do with the power of two? The Greens' Peter Wish Wilson will be returned to the Senate. <laughs> the Green vote was up slightly across the state. And I'm so bloody stoked to be here today. <laughs> A night of celebration for some, but days of waiting ahead for others. Yeah. Laura Beavis, ABC News.